Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and this is super huge news for anybody that loves shooting raw, but has always wanted to do it on their Apple iOS devices. Why? Because Apple has announced that in iOS 10, they are going to have raw support. That means applications will be able to shoot raw files as well as edit raw files in their applications. Now, this is important because it's going to save files in RAW in DNG, Adobe DNG. Now, that is a great format because it is a digital negative, plus it has the support of Adobe. It's an awesome thing to have. Now, how's it going to work? Well, right now, we don't know that how Apple's going to institute it into their applications, but other app developers can build it directly into their application. So in iOS 10, you can use the back-facing camera to shoot RAW if, or you can shoot RAW plus JPEG if you have an iPhone 6S, a 6S Plus, and I believe the iPad 9.7 inches. So why is this such a big deal? Because being able to shoot RAW means that you have more, da more data. That is a major pro. More data shot with your phone means that you can get better files and you can tweak them even better. What are the cons? you have more data. That means you're gonna take up more storage on your phone and you're gonna to need to have bigger devices or have other ways of getting files off of your phone so that you can go ahead and edit them. And I think that's where Lightroom Mobile and the Lightroom ecosystem is going to come in handy. Now, should, should the DSLR manufacturers be scared that you can shoot RAW on an iOS device? And I think absolutely not. I think this is an opportunity to take people, it's like a gateway. You then can shoot RAW on your phone. You see the power that you can do with something as simple as an iPhone 6S, but what if you want more? You're gonna grow into a DSLR. You're gonna search your way, or you can get a mirrorless camera, a DSLR, it doesn't matter. I want you in the DSLR world or in a mirrorless camera ecosystem to get better shots. So I think this is a great opportunity for the community as a whole to gain a whole bunch of new photographers, whether they're amateurs who wanna be professionals or just wanna take better pictures. Having raw support in iOS 10 is a huge, huge deal. And if you love shooting raw, please share this out. Give it a thumbs up and show how much you are excited to be able to shoot raw in the iOS universal world. And that is where I'll leave it. What do you guys think about this? Is it a big deal? Or is it something that's not so much of a big deal? I want to hear what you have to say. Leave a comment down below. And that is it. Jared Poland, froknosephoto.com. See ya. And don't forget, I shoot raw.